Hello everyone, this is Vijay and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss the 5 most important results of group theory. And these results are mainly useful for the students who are preparing for CPZ, HCU and all other university entrance examinations. So guys, before going to the today's session, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me in Telegram for more updates. Now let's have a look into the today's session. Now see the first result here. Here G is a group, Z of G means center of the group. Here G is a group, Z of G means center of the group. Here what is given? If order of the group is equals to PQ. If order of the group is equals to PQ, where P is prime number. Order of the group is PQ, P is a prime number. Then, order of center of group is equals to P. Order of center of group is equals to P. Remember here, this is the most important reason. If order of the group is PQ, and P is a prime number, then the order of the center of the group is equals to P. Here, G is a non-abelian also. Here, G is non-abelian also. This is the first reason, now see the first problem. Here, what is given? G is a group and order of the group is 343. Order of the group is 343. Okay, then find the order of the center of the group. Here, 343 means what we write? 7Q. 343 means what we write here? 7Q. Here 7 is a prime number. 7 is a prime number. Observe here. If order of the group is PQ. If order of the group is PQ. Means here PQ. Here prime number is 7. Then the center of the group is. Then the center of the group is equals to P. Then the center of the group is equals to P. Therefore order of center of group is equals to 7. Order of center of the group is equals to 7. This is the solution of this problem. See the result again. If order of the group is PQ, here P is a prime number, then the order of the center of group is equals to P. In this case, G is non-abelian. In this case, G is non-abelian. Now see the second one. It is also very, very, very important one. Here order of the group is equal to PQ, where P and Q are the prime numbers. Here we have two conditions. First condition is, if P is less than Q and P is not a divisor of Q minus 1, then the group G is cyclic. This condition is mainly useful to verify the given group is cyclic or not. This condition is useful to verify the given group is cyclic or not. Now see here what is given. Order of the group is equals to 65. Order of the group is equals to 65. Then verify G is cyclic or not. 65 means what we write here. 5 into 13. 5 into 13. Here 5 and 13. These two are the prime numbers. These two are the prime numbers. It is in the form of P into Q. So from this P value is 5 and Q value is 13. P value is 5, Q value is 13. Here, P value is less than Q. Here, P value is less than Q. That implies 5 is less than 13. So, P is less than Q. And 5 is not a divisor of 13 minus 1. 13 minus 1 means 12. So, 5 is not a divisor of 12. 5 is not a divisor of 12. Then, then the group G is cyclic. Then the group G is cyclic. What is the result here? If order of the group is equal to P into Q, where P and Q are the prime numbers. If P is less than Q and P is not a divisor of Q minus 1, then the group G is a cyclic group. Okay, now see the third result. Now see the third result. Every group of order P square, where P is prime, is an abelian group. Just observe this. What is given? If order of the group is P square. If order of the group is P square. Here P is a prime number. Then that group is always abelian group. Then the group is always abelian group. If order of any group is P square, then that group is always abelian group. If it is an abelian group, then order of group is equals to order of center of group. Okay. From this, what we observe? If order of group is P square, then it is an abelian group. If order of group is P square, then it is an abelian group. If and only if order of group equals to order of center of group. Here, see the third problem, 49. That means order of group is equals to 49. 49 is what we write here, 7 square. Here 7 is a prime number, so it is in the form of P square. Okay. If R of any group is P square, then that group is an abelian group. Then the given group G is an abelian group. Here observe R of the group is P square and it is an abelian group. Then R of group is equal to R of center of group. R of group is equal to R of center of group. What is the order of the group? Order of the group is 49. Order of the group is 49. Then the order of the center of the group is also 49. Order of the group is 49. Then the order of the center of the group is also 49. Okay, see the fourth result. 
the number of automorphisms of the group zn the number of automorphism of group zn is equals to pi of n here pi of n means it is a euler torian functions here pi of n means the number of positive integers less than n and relatively prime to n pi of n means number of positive integers less than n and relatively prime to n here the see the definition of automorphism if f is mapping from g to g if f is mapping from g to g if it is an isomorphism if it is an isomorphism then f from g to g is called automorphism here domain and codomain both are same and it is an isomorphism then it is called automorphism see the problem find the number of automorphisms of z6 z6 means from the result if z is equal to pi of n so z6 equal to what you get here pi of 6 okay here pi of 6 what is mean by pi of 6 number of positive integers less than 6 and relatively prime to 6 so 1 comma 6 is equals to 1 this area 1 comma 6 is 1 this area of 2 comma 6 is 2 this area of 3 comma 6 is 3 this area of 4 comma 6 is equals to 2 this area of 5 comma 6 is equals to 1 here 1 and 5 are relatively prime to 6 and less than 6 so the number of automorphisms of z6 is 2 the number of automorphism of the group z6 is equals to so if the question is find the number of automorphisms of group z here what is again find the number of automorphisms of group z here z6 is a finite group z is an infinite group z is an infinite cyclic group so the number of automorphism of group z is only 2 z is only 2 remember this you find the number of automorphisms of z6 means z6 is a finite group to find the number of automorphisms of finite group here we use this formula but for infinite group here observe z is an infinite cyclic group z is an infinite cyclic group so the number of automorphism of infinite cyclic group z is always 2 z is always 2 okay see the fifth one now see the fifth result it is the most important one the number of homomorphism from group z to z n is tau of n this tau of n is equals to the number of divisors of n or it is also equals to the total number of subgroups of z the number of divisors of z n or also it is equals to the number of subgroups of group z n here n means if n is any positive integer it can be written as product of prime numbers if n is any positive integer it can be written as product of prime numbers then tau of n is equal to alpha 1 plus 1 into alpha 2 plus 1 so on alpha k plus 1 by using this formula we find the number of homomorphism from group z to z n See the fifth problem. Find the number of homomorphisms from the group Z2, Z n. And what is given? Z2 L. The given group is Z2 L. So n is equal to 2 L. n is equal to 2 L. So write the prime factorization of 2 L. Prime factorization of 2 L is 2 square into 3. 2 square into 3. Here 2 raised to 2, 3 raised to 1. Alpha 1 is equal to 2. Alpha 2 is equal to 1. So tau of n equals what is the formula? Alpha 1 plus 1 into alpha 2 plus 1. So on alpha k plus 1. So what we write here 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 is 3 3 1 plus 1 is 2 3 2 is 6 here 6 number of homomorphisms exist from the group z2 to z2 okay. in next video we will discuss some more important results and problems of group theory thank you